Hey, who's the first chef the one Bravo short of Victor Alpha? 35. You're an outbound? Yep. Hey, you guys should come up here one day. Jeff will 35 need you to... So what instruments are required for VFR day and night flight? That answer can be found in the FARS in 91205, and to remember it, we use the acronym A Tomato Flames. It sounds silly, and it's quite lengthy, but it helps us remember exactly what 91205 teaches us. The A in our acronym stands for altimeter. T is for tachometer. O is for our oil temperature gauge. M is for our manifold pressure gauge. Now this is if it applies. A is airspeed indicator. T is a temperature gauge for each liquid cooled engine. O is an oil pressure gauge. F is for our fuel gauges. L is for our landing gear position indicator. Again, this is one of those if it applies scenarios. A is for our anti-collision lights, and this is for aircraft manufactured after March 11th, 1996. M is for our magnetic compass. E is ELT, emergency locator transmitter, and S is we must have seatbelts. So this applies for day. What about flying VFR at night. Well, that's 91205 subpart C. And for that, we just add flaps to our acronym. So it'd be A tomato flames plus flaps is everything we need for VFR night flight. The flaps is F for fuses. We need backup fuses. Now, if you have circuit breakers, this doesn't apply. L is we need a landing light. However, we only need a landing light if we are flying for hire. A, notice this comes up twice, anti-collision lights. This time it's manufactured after March 11th, 1971. P is for our position lights. And lastly, our S is for a source of power. You're on Bravo, you're short of Victor Alpha, you're a beam the Iberian. The beam Alitalia on the left there. Beam Alitalia. Alright, just hang on.